Hi, I am Amit Lunkar and today's presentation is on anti-neoplastic agent. After completion of this presentation, learners will able to describe mechanism of action of cisplatin, toxicities and side effects of cisplatin and uses of cisplatin. Let's move with the mechanism of action of cisplatin. Firstly, the structure of cisplatin. Cisplatin come under the miscellaneous class of antineoplastic agent. Cisplatin enters the cell and after entering it dissociates the chloride ions. Due to that it forms a highly reactive platinum complex and this form platinum reactive complex interacts with DNA due to which it causes intra-strand cross-linking probably between N7 and O6 of adjacent guanine molecules due to which it results in local denaturation of DNA that is there is an inhibition of cell proliferation. So here is the mechanism of action of cisplatin. So it acts similar way to that of alkylating agents. Here it dissociates the chloride ions and becomes a reactive intermediate and it inhibits the synthesis of DNA. Now this cisplatin which is a non-cell cycle specific drug. It can be administered by intravenous route. It having high binding ability to plasma proteins. It gets concentrated in kidney, intestine and testes. It poorly penetrates in blood brain barriers. Slowly excited in urine. Adverse effects are it produces emesis, nephrotoxicity, peripheral neuropathy and ototoxicity. Uses are it can be used in testicular cancer and which can be a curative one around 85% to 95% is get cure. It can be also used in ovarian cancer and other solid tumors like lung, esophagus and gastric. So here we finish the mechanism of action, adverse effects and uses of cisplatin. Hope all of you getting this. Thank you. Thank you very much and happy learning.